I didn't expect to see this. I knew the brother was going through some problems a few uh, what, weeks ago or a couple months ago. I was hoping that he got things uh, hashed out, but apparently not. Um, makes me wonder exactly what, he, what, what happened that's making him do this. Two things I want to touch on before I jump on this that I forgot to talk about in my MXR Plays reaction that I did yesterday. If you get, or was it yesterday or day before? Anyway, when you get a community guidelines strike, you're not allowed to upload for a week. You get a second one, it's two weeks. Third one, they remove your channel. Now, if you get that strike, you are not allowed to upload on other channels. I think according to YouTube, that's called circumventing. So if you have a backup channel, you made a backup channel in a time when, I guess, circumventing to them didn't exist. You cannot upload to another channel. If they find out that you are, you may get everything deleted. So MXR plays, you see this, stop uploading to your backup channel. Make sure that you're just uploading to your Patreon or something. All right? Second thing, when you do get a community guidelines strike, it is my understanding that YouTube gives you a grace period, an unknown grace period, where you have time to delete any or edit any videos in your catalog of videos over the years that could get you another strike. That is my understanding after speaking with a couple of different people than YouTube. So you won't see someone get a community guidelines strike, say today, and then get one ne next week. They actually give you time. So usually you hear about people getting community guides guidelines strike, say, this month, but they might get one next month or the month after. You get what I'm saying? So apparently you have several weeks to delete or edit any videos in your catalog before you get another community guideline strike. I understand that many of you have videos, of, you know, like channels like mine, where you talk about stuff every day. Like someone like me, or say even the quartering. The quartering does the amount of videos I do every day or more. Like me, I was like that when I first started. I was like four to six videos or more every single day. And it's kind of like that now. I've kind of ramped up this year and started doing more videos. Like I was kind of like a stable four every day for the most part. But I'll do more sometimes. You guys know that. I've almost always been like that. Um, you may have thousands of videos that you have to go through. And you're going to have to figure out how to do that. Period, point blank. That's it. You know, so I told you guys that I deleted over 50 videos, close to 60 videos. Um, it just had to be done because the stuff is no longer allowed on YouTube. It just is what it is. So, you know, um, let me see what the man has to say. I'm very, very curious about this, about what would make him want to quit. All right, let's get it. Well, must be another strike or something. I'm sure you all can read the title. Um, but just in case you don't know what's going on, Corey, run that flashback. I can guarantee you this, or I will be deleting my channel. October 28th, Resident Evil Village DLC is dropping. I guarantee you, I will have the entire game of Resident Evil Village uploaded on my channel before that dropped. So, okay. for some reason, unprovoked, I issued a challenge to myself that I would upload the entirety of Resident Evil Village before the 28th and okay. foolishly said that if I did not do that, I would be deleting my channel. Why? Why did I Why did I say this? <laughs> like, what the freak is Literally, no one even asked. You just did this. What? What the freak is wrong with you? 
watch it. I know! Like, I'm really irritated for multiple reasons. But number one being, no one even asked. Why am I self-issuing challenges? If I had no... <laughs> I thought... I did have an intention to complete it. <laughs> CC! I but thought it was CC a YouTube problem. Um, CC stands for cussing Corey, if you don't know about He kind of, um... better articulate how I feel. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, bro? Yo, Um, can you believe... Can you believe that we failed the challenge? Pretty good special effects there. Uh, this is you. Okay, this not is a me. Thing. Me, I. But I mean, technically, you're me. No, 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 no. I'm me. Oh, you're. Okay. Me. Yeah. I don't have nothing to do with the yeah. you was doing with yeah. that resident. Okay. You should have fucked right. me, okay. moron. Please, please. Please. Thank you. Okay. I have to be a man of my word. I have to. I have to. But before I do it, let's talk. Let me just give you a. Se let me. Give me a second to explain myself, all right? Okay. But I don't want to do it here. This is all cramped and damby and dark and dank. Let's go somewhere bright. I want you to look at me in my eyes when I talk to you, all right? Let's get out of here. Let's get. Let's go somewhere more comfortable. I need to bring my camera, too. The freak am I on? Unless y'all don't want to. Like, we don't have to go, like, go for a drive. Like, we could... You want to go for a drive with me? But yeah, I fixed my car the other day. What you got? Five point oh. We got that was fun. Ah. Here, let's get you set up here. Looks nice like and it might handsome, be this one. <laughs> yeah. I really never noticed how cute you were. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Now. Hey, hey. Are you done? What if we were driving and I just put my hand on your thigh? <laughs> that would be crazy, right? Don't do that. All right. <laughs> Isn't this so beautiful? If a girl took me to this park to break up, I feel like I'll be all right just because it's so beautiful here. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Oh, wait. Yo. All right, some of y'all about to trip out. Some people won't get it, but some of y'all are going to trip out. It's funny. That uh, park is very okay. similar to that. How you doing? Remember that was the uh, clock's ticking video? Uh-huh. Yeah, that was a good video. I'm really just trying to distract you from what we got to do today. Very, uh, all right. You can shoot like a music video here or something. This is so pretty. I can't really see how clear it is because the sun's like blasting me in my eye. Um, hopefully it looks okay. Got the nice little backdrop. You know what I mean? Like, you can't be mad at me with this in the background. Like, it's impossible. October was absolute garbage. October did not play out an iota of what I had hoped. I had so many plans for October that it was crazy. Going in, I had planned to do every single Sunday of October for Spooky Scary Sunday, obviously. I had planned to knock out a few Chilla's Arts games, The Bath House just came out. I played and recorded that. Puppet Combo just released, uh, Stay Out of the House, which I have literally put off playing for like three years. I didn't want to play it until it was complete. They finally completed it, and Corey Kenshin is AFK. There were so many horror games, including Resident Evil Village DLC drop. So you might, you might be asking, with all of those freaking plans, how did you not? How did you not basically do anything? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Um, try an amalgamation, and I, I rarely use that word, of almost every facet of your life going wrong. We're talking personal, we're talking family. We're talking technical. Almost <laughs> everything that could go wrong did. That's not me, like, Jeez. trying to... 
um, Sorry to embellish hear that, bro. my predicament. A That's lot of stuff fun. went wrong, including my mother's nail spa caught on fire. Yeah, Damn. caught on fire because some freaking LED lights. Now everyone's mm -hmm. okay. Nobody died, but there was some damage. Uh, but that's okay. The other things that was going on in my family required my attention. Um, I don't talk to you guys about family issues. Uh, when my aunt passed away, um, I did talk about that. And I did talk about when my grandpa passed away. But beyond that, y'all really don't know. And it's not your place to know, really, um, unless I choose to share Right. what's going on but i'll just say it's not a secret that i'm a successful youtuber nor is it a secret to my friends or any of the people that are kind of close in my circle right. pretty much where i'm getting at is a lot of times i have to step in for financial matters mm -hmm. i think that's where i'm going to leave that um i don't need to say anything really more than People that. got the hand out. Um, but when I thank you guys all the time and say like there are so many things that I can do now because of you guys and the support that you have shown my YouTube channel. I'm definitely hinting at the things that I've been able to do for the people in my circle um, and I, I don't mean just give them money, but change okay. their mentality about money. So maybe Couple they don't have the hand out. Monetary issues. There's also just regular family issues. And I'm not going to lie to you. Back in happens. the day, um, I was going through it. I was going through it with my dad, with uh, school, with, with a bunch of stuff. And I'm talking like around 2014, 2015. And I would power through everything. Like, it wouldn't matter the problem, what it was. I was recording that night, and I was going to upload that next day, regardless. I look back at, like, my Evil Within series, and you wouldn't even know, like, how much I was going through at that time. Mm -hmm. These days, I'm... Let's let's keep it above. Right? I don't shit. power through anything. <laughs> and that... Yeah, we'd be going through stuff, y'all don't even know. We'd be smiling on camera. Which plays into the personal issues of, you know, being demotivated a bit. Um, that happens. But we did have a, a good little streak. Was that beginning of October or late September? Look at that water. It's so beautiful. I've been doing YouTube so long that... I have zero reservations about talking to the camera in my most comfortable, mm -hmm. like literally, I'm literally talking to you watching this video right now. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a totally different thing if I got on a stage and y'all was in front of me, like for real. Yeah, but it's different. That's why I don't do like anything. It don't transfer. Uh, <laughs> I wish it did. I'm better on stage than I normally would be because of what I do every day, but... Um, even deep thought. I say all that to say we definitely have built a crazy rapport, a crazy relationship throughout all these years. I take no pleasure in letting you guys down, not coming through for you, um, all the broken promises over the years. Like, that stuff adds up. Mm -hmm. Even for me, I'm like, Sometimes I'm like thinking like, dang, I can't say that because I did that before. Or don't say that. Don't make no promises because you know. Yeah. And then what do I do? I turn around and say something stupid like, yeah, October 28th. Because we want to give y'all so much. I had every intention. And sometimes things get in our way and we just can't fulfill that, it. But it's just something about Corey and promises that don't <laughs> come together. I don't know what Sorry. <laughs> Life is an ever
ever going challenge, always active, mm -hmm. right? every single day. We wake up, we have a choice. Now, being wise is understanding that everything that happens in that day, you don't have control over. You only have control over yourself. And it's a plane, freaking helicopter just hovering over me when I'm... Yeah, go right, here. Are you about to drop a bomb or... <laughs> Wait, hold up, what's that? <laughs> Somebody activated a UAV, threw off my whole train of thought. I was just saying, life is just one long challenge. For, in this stage of my life, I just really suck at keeping promises to my YouTube community. I don't know why. Um, a lot of stuff happened that wasn't in my control, but I definitely, there's no excuse at the end of the day. I definitely could have really powered through what was going on and got the got this series uploaded, like I said. So really, there's nothing else for me to say. So before we pack it on up and go back home, Ah, get one last look at this. Look at that beautiful tree. Oh, look at that HD leaf, bro. Oh my. That's the HD leaf right there. As I'm walking back to my car, I'm thinking about what I just said back there, and I'm like, dang, is that good enough? And something dawned on me that I was talking about being a successful YouTuber. And I didn't even thank God. So there's no way I wasn't about to thank God on camera for that. I thank God for my life, for my family, for you guys. I know a lot of you guys don't believe in God, but you're tuning in anyways. No, I'm a successful YouTuber. About God. You're well, a super successful time, YouTuber. But I, definitely do. <laughs> I want you guys to know I wouldn't be making YouTube videos if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for... The way he's blessed me, the way that um, he continues to bless me, though I don't deserve it. I'm gonna make sure that clip gets in. I'm sure you do, man. So I'm sure you deserve it. Um, I guess this is it. Don't delete the channel. Uh, don't keep this promise either. There's nothing else. Yeah, all right, man. Come on now. For me to say. Just reboot. Just reboot your head and get back in the game. All right, guys, here I am on my YouTube homepage, and let's just do this. Um, All right, what channel is it going to be? Settings. A backup uh, old channel. Delete channel. Wow, it's, it's literally right there. I was not expecting this to be this simple. Um, wow. I'm uh, just taking it all in. <coughs> it was a good ride. Time. Wait, aren't I watching this on court <laughs> on your channel? I want to permanently delete my content. <sighs> I can't believe this. Uh, yes, and yes. I saw it. I just deleted my backup channel. <laughs> That's not fine. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> God was about to say, yo. Y'all sick as thought I was deleting my actual. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no way. <laughs> when I'm watching this on his main no, channel, no, no, no. I couldn't tell. I, I just saw the video. Shit. I didn't see which one. <laughs> Didn't Pewdie probably do something like this a while ago? Where he deleted, say he's gonna delete his channel. It's like, I feed my family with this. Like, <laughs> yeah, what? Let me go back and make sure my actual channel is still there. 
<laughs> I've never deleted a YouTube channel before. That was kind of scary. <laughs> so now that I've deleted sure my was. backup channel, um, <laughs> I guarantee I will upload Village or I'll be deleting my actual Corey Kenshin chin. Yeah. Is what I would say if I was a freaking moron. I ask you to trust me. Now, trust Corey? What are the, are you talking to us about trust? You can't even fulfill your own deals. I understand. I understand the precarious predicament I put myself in. But listen, where are we without trust? What, what do we have? We have nothing. Where are we? If you don't trust that after nine months, he will come back. If y'all didn't trust that I would always come back, you wouldn't stay subscribed. <laughs> Let's look at the chalk on the chalkboard here, people. Now, my <laughs> error was putting a date on it. All it did was give me a lot of anxiety, to be honest. God of War Ragnarok is coming. Um, actually, it drops on my birthday, which is like the craziest... Like, I'm about to have the most fun birthday ever. Yeah. I wanted Village done and out of the way before we began that playthrough. <laughs> there will be a playthrough. I made the grave mistake of not playing the first God of War on my channel. And, man, my reactions were top tier, I tell you that. <laughs> I played it in my yeah. bedroom, three feet away from the TV, and I was screaming at some of those parts. So I'm going to make sure this time it's going to be more on camera. But I wanted Village and the DLC out of the way before that happened. I'm not going to be uploading anything except for I signed up like a month ago to do a Gotham Knights sponsorship. So you got to do that. Yeah, and that's <laughs> going to be coming out. Um, I will drop a Spooky Scary Sunday, but then I'll be focusing all my efforts on Village because we don't got a lot of time before God no, of War comes out. Don't. And that's my vision <laughs> for now. So thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Everyone no says problem. that, man. It's so, <laughs> I got to say something more original. But in all seriousness, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting, as always. I thank you, God, for these wonderful people, for blessing me with <laughs> all of these things. Jesus, for sacrificing your life so that we may have another day. I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'm going to, this this Gotham Nights video is going to be dropping any day now. And then um, I'm going to be fully editing Village. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Dear Bishita, this is the Samurai. Slice that like button. Subscribe to Nate and Samurai. And until next time, my brothers and sisters. Because my name is Gary Kinchy. So there we have it. <laughs> well, I tell you, that, yo, he spoke about a lot of true stuff. And the serious stuff that I spoke about in the beginning, make sure you pay attention to that. All right. But yeah, man, like, <clears throat> especially on like my Patreon. Like, all my Patreon and YouTube memberships, they know that, like, I've, I've been getting to stuff that I said I was going to get to in the past. And, you know, I don't like saying I'm going to do something and then not do it. I, I don't like that because, you know, but sometimes I'm just so ambitious about how much I want to give y'all. You know what I mean? But then life hits you. You're dealing with other stuff. Sometimes YouTube problems, sometimes other stuff, and it demotivates you. It really bothers you, and it really crushes your motivation. Um, you know, being a YouTuber is not easy. Everyone thinks it's so easy, and they don't get it. I've had friends that have started a channel, and then they realize just how difficult it is being a YouTuber. It's all you doing, man. You know what I mean? That that's what they think. All you do. You know, that's what that's how people try to always downgrade what someone does. All they do is <laughs> they don't realize everything else that goes in to what it is that you do. People try to downgrade, I don't know, someone that's if you're an actor, all you do is memorize lines and <laughs> all you do is reveal movies and <laughs> all you do is push a pencil at this job. <laughs> Meanwhile, the person, you know, is making half a million dollars a year or more 
pushing the pencils, you don't realize everything that goes behind that pushing that pencil. How much they have to push that pencil. How much stress and and delegating and compartmentalizing and having this person do this and taking care of this group of people and uh, people have employees that they don't realize none of that. And they're always haters that just don't understand how life really works and how careers really work. Because anybody with a career, that shit is never easy. Never easy. You know what I mean? So, post comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought. If you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts to this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And subscribe to Corey Kenshin. 10 million subscribers. Tell them Tyrone Magnus sent you. Woo!